anti-democratic as anything you've done to create hate and vitriol in our beautiful country. Well, Lionel Kimball is an associate professor of history at Chicago State University, and he joins me now. Professor, good to have you on the program with us. Uh, you know, going to those words that the mayor of, of Portland um, said, does he have a point? Is the U.S. president inciting this violence, and in what way? Well, it's, it's easy to, to say that he is, and I, I think I would tend to agree with him. I think one of the, the major problems we have here is that we have a, a federal official, in this case, a U.S. president, who uh, in ordinary times would be someone who would be a stabilizing force and someone who, who can uh, uh, instigate a meeting of the minds between the two factions. He seems to be flaming the, uh, uh, the, fanning the flames of fire uh, and, and increasing the, the rhetoric in, uh, in all of these cities around the, uh, the United States and, and antagonizing some of these racial tensions. So what's going on in America right now uh, with these protests? It's been more than three months since the death of George Floyd, which uh, sparked the first wave of protests, but there's still so much anger out on the streets. Yeah, I think the, the biggest problem, I think, you know, George Floyd was, was the catalyst that started so many of these things. But as we see every day, there are these continued and constant instances of, of African-Americans, of black people in the United States being, you know, killed and uh, by the police or shot by the police, unarmed black people across the uh, across the country. So as we see George Floyd as being, you know, precipitating all, all this stuff, you know, there there are these cases every day which continues to uh, uh, really upset the general population in the United States. Mm -hmm. You know, these protests, as I said, have been going on for a long time. Um, of course, there was that police shooting of, of a black man in Kenosha, Wisconsin. As so we're seeing protests there as well. Do you think the violence that we're seeing take place during these protests is muddling the message? I mean, is that message um, getting lost? Well, it, it depends whose message you're talking about. Because on, on the one hand, I think he for, uh, for, for Black Lives Matter and really the protection and guarantee of rights for black people and other people in this country, I think their message is, is, is going strong. But I think that there's a counter message which is going on. Uh, which is the one from from the alt right and from the extreme right and, and white supremacists, and they're basically saying that uh, regardless of you know uh, th these claims that all that Black Lives Matter, that they're going to be resistant to that no matter what. Okay, we're going to leave it there for now. Lionel Kimball, associate professor of history at Chicago State University. Thanks for your time.